Okay, so this is a quadratic uh, inequality. <clears throat> the way we go about it um, is to start off by thinking of it as an equality. Think of it as an equation. So we're going to look at where x squared minus x minus 6 is equal to 0. So step 1, solve x squared minus x minus 6 equals 0. So um, we'll solve this quadratic. Uh, that might, that'll probably give us two points, uh, two values of x that'll make it equal to 0. And what we need to remember is they're the only two points for which this, um, this expression is equal to 0. For everything else, every other value of x, uh, this expression is either going to be greater than 0 or less than 0. So these two points are really important to find. So we go about our normal process. We um, we can factorise this. Uh, it's going to factorise into um, x plus two times x minus three. And okay, so that gives us x x is minus two or three. Um, all right. Okay, now, uh, step two, I'm going to just put them onto a number line. All right, x is minus two, x is three, and you'll see that those two values of x, so these are values of x, those two values of x split the number line into three regions. There's the region that is less than two, there's the region... Uh, that's um, less than 3, greater than two, minus 2, and there's the region um, x is uh, greater than 3. So um, we're looking uh, for that region in which the values of x squared minus x minus 6 are greater than 0. Now, um, <clears throat> we need to test each of these three regions. So I'm just going to pick a value for x to test. I'm going to pick an easy one, 0. Let's see what happens. When we substitute 0 into x squared minus x minus 6, we get 0 squared minus 0 minus 6. So we get a value of minus 6, and that is clearly not greater than 0. So that tells us that this region in between 3 and minus 2, we are not going to, uh, we're not going to get values that are greater than 0. All right. Now let's test a value greater than three. We know at we know that at three, um, x squared minus x minus six is equal to zero. So let's see. We, we want values that are greater than zero. So let's try a different value. Let's try um, uh, let's try um, ten for example. Uh, right. So if I substitute in ten, I'm going to get a hundred minus ten minus six. Uh, so at um, at x equals ten. Uh, we're going to get uh, 100 minus 10 minus 6, and that's not, what's that? That's 84, uh, which is greater than 0. So that tells us that everything above 3, uh, we're getting values that are greater than 0. All right, now the other region was that region less than minus 2. So let's take a value, um, uh, an easy one, let's take minus 10. That's clearly below minus 2. And we'll test that. So um, when we put in um, x equals minus 10, we're going to get minus 10 squared. Now minus 10 squared is 100. Uh, then minus minus 10, minus 6. What does that give us? 100 plus 10, 110. 110 minus 6 is 104. Um, so that is clearly greater than 0. And so this region also will give us values that are greater than zero. And so um, we end up with um, two possibilities. So our solution, um, our solution to x squared minus x minus six is greater than zero um, is in two parts. X is less than minus two, so everything to the left of minus two, uh, or, everything to the right of 3, so x is greater than 3. All right, so um, that gives us two regions uh, in which x squared minus x minus 6 is greater than 0.